In this short video, I'm going to talk about indifference curves, and my name is David Longstreet. Economists define utility as a function of consuming x and y. We put this into an equation where u is equal to a function, which we use at goofy f, x, and y. So it looks mathematically like that. Keep in mind that uh, x and y can be iPods, cars, anything. It can be time, love, anything at all you like. And we can also do more than x and y, but it would be too complicated. Along the x-axis, we plot quantity of good x. Along the y-axis, we plot quantity of good y. Again, what we do is we say that utility is a function of the consumption of two goods, x and y. And a difference curve looks like this, downward sloping concave. Point A, there's 60 of good y consumed and 10 of good x. Now we put that into our utility equation, so utility at point A is a function of consuming 10x and 60y. At point B, there is 40 of good y consumed and 20 of good x. And it's important to note that the utility at points A and B are the same, and we can represent that mathematically. Now if I add another point, point C, and at point C there's 20 of good y consumed and 40 of good x. And now we know that A, B, and C, the utility of all three of these are exactly the same. Let me take those away. So what we see is utility is constant along the curve. No matter where you're at, utility is always the same on this one single curve. Now let's go back to points A, B, and C. I'm going to talk about marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate of substitution is movement along the curve. And it's measured by taking the change in y divided by the change in x. Now the change in y is 60 down to 40. So we take 60 minus 40. And that gives us a change in y change in x, we go from 10 all the way up to 20, so it's 10 minus 20. This is equal to 20 divided by negative 10. So the consumer is willing to give up 20y to get 10x. They're willing to trade that. And that equals 2. And that described moving from point A to point B. Now what happens if we go from point B to point C? Again, a change in Y divided by change in X. So it's 40 minus 20, the change in Y, divided by 20 minus 40, change in X. And that equals to 20 divided by negative 20. And that equals to 1. You might be wondering why we take away the negative sign. We don't use the negative sign. It's because we're measuring uh, change. One last example. We're going to go from C to D, which is a change in Y divided by change in X again. And that, that equals to 20 minus 10 divided by 40 minus 70. Should be in there. There it is. That equals to 10 divided by negative 30. And that equals to 1 third. Again, we take away the negative sign because we're measuring distance or positive distance. Keep in mind, along the indifference curve, utility is constant. And to highlight this, when we went from A to B, the marginal rate of substitution was 2 over 1 or 2. When we went from B to C, it got dropped to 1. And when we went from C to D, we got all the way down to one third. Now we have points A and B. Let me put in another indifference curve, this green one, to show you the difference when it's flat. The indifference curve is flat. I'm going to add another point, point E. Now, if we move from A to E, it's 60 minus 40 divided by 20 minus 60. 
20 divided by 40, negative 40. And that equals to negative or just one half, right? What this means, what this means is the consumer values Y more than X, the green indifference curve versus the purple indifference curve. So let's label this one. And if we add another difference curve in here, label it in Roman numeral two, we know that utility of the first curve is less than the utility of the second curve. Now, if I take another curve and let's label this three, we know that the utility of curve three is greater than the other two curves as well. You're probably wondering, how do you know this? Well, let me demonstrate this. At point A, utility is a function of consuming 10x and 60y. At point B, utility is a function of consuming 30x and 60y. We conclude that utility of A is less than utility of B. And the reason for this is the consumer is consuming the same amount of Y, which is 60, but consuming more X. Let me add one more point in here. It would be point C. And at point C, utility is a function of 50X and 60Y. So we know that utility C is greater than utility B is greater than utility A. Again, same amount of uh, Y, but a lot more X from 30 to 50. Now keep in mind that movement along a curve, utility is constant. Just like that. The second indifference map has a higher level utility than the first indifference map I drew. That's indifference curves, and remember to party more and study less.